Hey, happy birth hour. Varthavar, one of the five major feast days of the church. Actually, you walk into the church, you think you're going to be safe from everything, and then what do they do? They douse you with water. If, in fact, if you're out on the street, you're not safe because they may get you with water. In fact, it's become a very popular and fun custom among Armenians. But the actual feast in the Armenian church, one of the five major feasts, is called Ayla Gerbutun, or and has to do with the transfiguration of Jesus Christ. What? So why do we douse each other with water? Well, think about it for a moment. Let's look at the feast itself. We find the story in the Synoptic Gospels. In fact, we see that Jesus goes away to Mount Tabor with three of his disciples, and there he was transfigured. He radiates the light. In other words, there is an opportunity for people to see the divine presence. He transfigures himself and there two other individuals, one Moses and one Elijah stand with him. And the three disciples are able to see the transfigured Lord among the two figures of history, Moses, Elijah. And right then, the voice of God says this, this. is my beloved son. Listen to him. Now, what's so significant about this story? Well, Moses, of course, is the symbol of the law. Elijah is the symbol of the prophets. Between the law and the prophets stands Jesus Christ as the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. In fact, every Sunday during the Holy Badarak, the priest descends from the altar and says, You are the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. Transfiguration is the feast where we focus in that Jesus is the completed, the fulfillment of all the laws and the prophets, and he transfigures, he shows the divine presence to his disciples and an opportunity for us. So why the water? Well, in the olden days, we had a feast that was dedicated to the goddess Ostlik. And people would walk around and they'd douse each other with water. It was a ritual bath. And there were certain traditions associated with the feast and the water. So when St. Gregory the Illuminator came to Armenia and there was a conversion, not everybody converted right away. So St. Gregory took many of the pagan feasts and adopted them along with the Christian feast so that people can understand the Christian in terms that they understood. Much like you, when you read a Bible, you read the Bible in terms that you understand, not in terms that are foreign to you. St. Gregory did the same thing, wanted the Armenians to understand and accept these stories. So what do we do on Vartavar? We take water and we douse one another. We spray one another. In fact, if you go into church, you'll find that many of the priests will sprinkle water on people. It's an opportunity for us to think about the cleansing. It's an opportunity for us to think about the transfiguration. In other words, when we are cleansed, what happens? We are transformed. And the only means of transformation is through Jesus Christ. Christ in our midst, we are transformed. When I go to church on Vartavar, I look forward to that dousing of water. I look forward to all that water coming on me. Why? Because it's a reminder. First, of our baptism. That's when we were first cleansed of our sins, of our past, and we start a new life, to be born again. And second, it's a reminder that we always need to be transformed. In Christ, we always need to be born again. That is, to be able to take our past, to put it one side. And guess what? You have that opportunity every Sunday through the Holy Eucharist. But especially on Vartavar, on this feast, you have an opportunity to be reminded, well, with water. And so take advantage of it and greet one another by saying, Happy Vartavar, but don't miss the most important part, that Jesus is the transfigured Lord. In other words, through Jesus, we have an opportunity to begin again, to see that brightness, to see the light. And in that, 
we, all have, we have an opportunity for us to be transformed into a good light. So go to church and be prepared. I will.